Hello guys and welcome to Discovering Dorset the Showway. We've got the white water angler here, Squib, Josh, I mean, or Josh Squib. Um, we've got Callum over there waving at us. We've come down to Lyme Regis. We're gonna do a bit of bottle digging, maybe some fossil hunting. Depends what we can get in, but we're gonna go and try to find the uh, top of the dump this time before the council decide to shut it down and close us all down. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, we've managed to get onto the beach. We had to rock crawl down, because the tide was still a bit far in, but we're down on the beach, because uh, we don't know how to get to the top at the moment. So we're just having a little wander around, having a little look around, see what we can find down here first. Oh, check that out. Josh has just found that. That's cool. That looks like it could do with a hammer in, mate. Look at the seam on that. Look at that on the map. So we're going to have a little explore, a little wander around and see what we can find while we're here. Pottery. Callum's found himself a nice bit of pottery. Very pretty. Loads of this scrap metal everywhere. If you bring your magnet down here, you wouldn't be able to get back off the beach again. Oh, look at this. Old sockets for things and stuff. What would that have been? I don't know what that would have been. It looks, uh... It's a tiny bit like an ABS. An actually. ABS? Oh, okay. I mean, it could be wrong about that. Callum knows what he's talking about. Don't say Bits these of things. car engine and stuff. Callum knows what he's talking about most of the time. Is that better, Callum? Do you feel better now? <laughs> I see these on railway stations. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, you do, actually, don't you, for the grip and that. Look at that. Oh, really, really worn down brick here. What does it say? Pride? PN. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Pride. Pride bricks. Something like that. Old bit of rubber. Old bit of rubber. <sighs> First sign of an old bottle. That would have been a cod, I reckon, at one point. It says B-A-T-E, bait, on the bottom. He's our hammering. That looks interesting. Oh, too buried for me to grab out. Come up onto the flat bit up here. loads of bits of old old container and just random things up here it's great to explore really really cool really fun actually as well bits of old plastic and stuff I've left the other lads behind, but they'll catch up in a minute if they find their own things down there. But, first shell I found on the beach. <laughs> so you can see how it's all fallen out of the cliff there and just all crumbled and tumbled down into here. It's part of an old, would have been on the bottom of the fire to hold the coals. Uh, 
another bit of old grate there. The old flag, old sock flag thing. Bit squidgy there. Big old container for something here. There they are. Walking along on their date on the beach. How's your date going, lads? <laughs> What is that? That's a big old thing of something there, isn't it? Big old piece of something. Old fuse box or something? Uh, five amp, 25 volt. Made in England. Yeah, something like that. It could even be the old plug itself, just the back of part oh, of it. Yeah. Or something like that. That's a cool find. Oh, there's an old caster wheel just here. Look. Right. Down at the bottom, having a little look, see some beautiful coloured glass. That would have been gorgeous, but it's a shame it's so broken. Oh, what's that? I don't know what that would have been. All I could see was that blue thing. Anyone know what that would have been? Interesting. Hello. Ah. Check this. Got the ceramic around it there. Very cool. Very cool. See, the thing is, it's all still buried in the sides of this here as well, so anywhere inside any of that, there could be stuff, but we just can't see it. Also looking for items that might have washed up. Callum's battling a brick wall. Oh! Preston Range. Yeah, I don't know what that. What anyone ID a year or a date for Callum for this? I think it's because because it's got the uh, it's called an English bond when it solid ball. English bond. Uh, yeah, because you see this. Okay. Is, this now we we make bricks with cavities in the middle. Yeah. But uh, in the past we'd put headers there and then a row of uh, stretchers. Okay. So probably Victorian. Ah, oh, there you go, guys. Probably Victorian. Ooh. Go on. Hey, check this out. Yes, we got our first bottle, guys. Got a bottle? Yeah. Oh, what is it? I'm not sure what it is. It does have embossing on the bottom of it here. However, it's so clay and muckled up, I think we're probably gonna have to wait until I get home and then I'll take some better pictures for you. But our first bottle, awesome. So I found that little bottle and Callum's used this spade and he's dug up himself a little jar which is just washed off in the sea. No embossing, but it's a lovely jar. Yeah. Cool, first jar find for Callum, first bottle find for me. And Scribs over there somewhere, there he is on his own missions. I just saw this where you were standing as well. Yeah, what's that? What's that? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a weight or something. It's, um, could well be. It's interesting, whatever it is. Yeah. Interesting looking. I think I'll keep that. Whatever that is. Just got to keep our eyes peeled for things. Whoa! You scattered me out with that then, man. <laughs> Callum just launched this at us. What's that? I have no idea. An old stand for something maybe? I don't know. I mean, all of this looks more modern, like 1920s, I'd say. Yeah? Oh, there's another broken one there. 
loads of broken stuff in here. Ah, just found an old iron. There's an old iron right here, look. Check that out, dude. Oh, nice. Ah, it's like an old bracket for something hanging. Like maybe a hanging plant or maybe part of an old bench or something like that. Would be my best guesses. I could be totally wrong. Check that out, look. Big old bit of wire. A whole leaf spring. Wow. Oh. Check out leaf spring suspension. Callum's got his eye in. Whoa, there's a whole engine here, man. <laughs> I wonder if you can tell where it's from. It says S with an M in the middle. And then, whatever those mean, I don't know what they mean. Right. Um, can anyone ID that engine for us? It'd <laughs> be really cool if you could. I just tripped over this brutal looking thing. Got like a trident with missing, <laughs> missing one bit. Well, hello. Some sort of a handle, is it? Or, I don't know. All sorts of bits around here. You all right, Callum? Yeah. Beautiful colors. Lovely bit of blue. Ah, oh, check it out. It's old lock. Old lock plate. That would have been a lovely, bright, goldeny brass colour. And there's the inside of it there. Oh, here he is. It's Josh. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. It's got like flower with the pattern and stuff on it. What is it? Any idea? Is it a handle for something? It's or? enamel. Oh, look out there. Ah. So found himself chimney. half an insulator or half... Well, yeah, it might be actually, I don't know. That's some metal on the inside. Ah, insulator, I think, then that would be my guess. Part of the inside of an old teapot there. What would that have been? I don't know. Chunky bit though. I think we're coming to near the end of the dump. I think Josh just pulled up another one of these actually. 50 amp pattern. I think we're coming to the near the end of the bit we can do on the beach. I'm hoping there's some more we can find somewhere slightly different or whatever. Some nasty spiky bits here. There's brass screws in it. No idea what that would have been from. It's all very interesting to me. Oh wow, check that out. Callum's just pulled up this cog. <laughs> that's beautiful. I don't know what it is though. That's amazing dude. That's absolutely stunning that is. Yeah. What a find. Oh, is that what they call fool's gold? Uh, With all yeah, the shiny. Yeah. yeah, I see what you mean. I don't think the camera can is picking it up, but there's loads of shiny flecks in there. I have to keep that and figure out if that is what they call that or not. 
A handle? Like a door handle or something, look. You gotta crack a rock. Yeah, there you go. Give it another whack. Nothing. It's split. Ah, oh, nothing to show. Worth a try. Check that out. Spiked on that end and spikes around the top here. Hmm. Wow, look at all the birds. Just spotted. If I can get to turn over another little cog there, look. And amongst all of this, there's another one. There's another little cog there. You see? Wow! Look at that. I'm guessing that's a bit of glass, but holy hell. The colours coming through that. Check that out. It says Excelsior. Oh, it's an old tile of some sort. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely an old tile. Yeah. It's like we come and let's have a set of buildings just here, wasn't it? Something. Yeah. All over that, they just dumped a load of building waste here. There's a handle as well, look. <laughs> Literally the entire thing, wow. Absolute complete brass backing to it there as well, look. With a cog in the middle. That's beautiful, that is. That's a keep. Don't know what that is either. 31779, no idea. The pedal off of something in it. I think. Imagine if you got a magnet on this area. Yeah, I was just saying to the camera, if you brought a magnet down here, you'd never be able to lift yourself back up again. <laughs> I guess that's a bit old. That's a hot plate. Hot plate. Yeah. Ah. How do you know these things? I only recently found out because last oh. time I went magnet fishing I pulled one out and Andrew told me. Oh. Yeah. Try that one, it might be no good, but. Oh, a couple of that too. Yeah. That's a bit of one for you, isn't it? There you go. What's that? Oh nice, he's just found a fossil look, or part of. Very cool. You can see some ammonites here on this rock. Going all the way through the swells and that. And there, you have a fossilized leaf. Very cool. What's that? Fossilised leaf. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, Check that. Oh. Look at the vein in that. Wow. Wow. That's all like quartzy shiny gemstone in the middle there guys. That is gorgeous. Right, I've tried to get my light out so you might be able to see it a bit better. My torch is on. It's not helping really, but that is gorgeous. That's a keep. There's a brick just here. A stour bridge across it. Oh. 
That's all it's got on it, yeah. Stour Bridge. Quite cool. Just walking along in the woods here. And we stumbled across this. It's like a abandoned building thing. Oh, I wonder what that would have been. I've got no idea what that would have been. You got a clue, Callum? Um, nope. Oh, bloody hell. Um, First day, moving in. <sighs> Loving the new digs. Just got I mean, it's got a bed. We kept walking, and there's another building. <laughs> I have to duck round to. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Fish and chips, is it? Do you want, do you think, because some of this um, brickwork quite some of the stuff down on the beach, do you think some of these buildings might fall in? There might be part of the old dump. Well, yeah. Just a little bit of added extra footage. There's a bike meet going on here at the minute. Some absolutely beautiful bikes. So I just thought I'd show you some of them. They're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hello, you're right. And there's nothing before that. Yeah, I'm just going to take you for a little walk around while they're here. While the boys are heading back to the car. There's a little dog caravan. Check that out. That is cool. Some lovely Harleys and things. There's a gorgeous triumph just here. Gorgeous. Beautiful bikes. There's the boys down there. Hi guys. <laughs> and that comes just to the end. We've made it to the end of our trip. Um, we didn't find the top of the bottle dump. We might have been slightly lied to or we might just be idiots, but we have found some stuff. We did find some fossils, some metal and some bottles and some urbex. So goodbye from me. Bye. 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 See you all on the next adventure.